Hey everybody, Steve here, and today I want to continue a dialogue that I started in a previous video about torque wrenches. Uh, I have a whole set of these Tekton torque wrenches. You can find them on Amazon. Uh, if you've ever done a search uh, for torque wrenches, uh, you've probably come across these. They actually get really good ratings. So my question is, how good are they? All right, so from a build quality, each and every single one of these are built real solid. And uh, they feel good in your hand. The ratcheting mechanisms are good and uh, all in all pretty good. But the point is, is that it doesn't amount to a hill of beans if they're not accurate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same procedure that I used in the video that preceded this, which I'll include a link to in the description. And I'm going to go ahead and do a calibration for every single one of these and see how they turned out. And I will share the findings with you. And just in case you didn't see the video that preceded this one, what I'm doing is I'm measuring from uh, the center point of the drive down the shaft to a certain specific point. Uh, I like to use round numbers, so here I'm using 12. And essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the 12 inches, and I've got 20 pounds worth of weights here. And I'm gonna multiply the 12 times the 20, and I'm gonna get 240. And then what I need to do is I need to convert, that's inch pounds, I need to convert that back into foot pounds. So 240 divided by 12 is 20. I set my torque wrench for 20 foot-pounds, and it should click right where my blue stripe is. And there it is. Now, if I move it up some on the bar and it doesn't click, that's a good thing. Bring it back to right where I was. It clicks. Move it just ever so slightly, and it doesn't click, and I know that I'm good to go at my 20 foot-pounds. This guy is now set accurately. So I'm going to do the rest for the rest of them, and I'll report back to you when I'm done. All right, so let's take a look at how these guys did. The granddaddy was off by 2.9%. The way I arrived at that answer was I took the original number, which was 17, and the second number, which uh, it clicked at, which was 16.5. And I did value 2 minus value 1 over value 1 times 100, and I got 2.9%. So not too shabby for the biggest one. All right, so the 3 8 the 3 8 uh, small guy right there. All right, so uh, we started his measurement at 6. Uh, he clicked at 6 and 3 quarters. And if we do the same uh, percentage change calculation, uh, he's off by 12.5%. So, uh, so that's that. All right, so for our quarter drive, uh, we went out five and it was dead on. Dead on, 100% accurate. And last but not least, this is a, a half inch drive. Uh, this one goes from 10 to 150 foot pounds. We measured him out eight. Uh, he clicked at 8.75. And if we do the math, it is a delta of 9.375. So there they are, and I have to say that I've never done this before. So I never did this when I first got these wrenches. I've had these wrenches for three some odd years. I mentioned in the other video that I had one more torque wrench. That was the 3.8, 10 to 80 foot pounds. Uh, I couldn't get that one to calibrate at all. That was completely my fault. Uh, it caused me to break apart, and I threw it across the garage. Uh, it busted into a couple pieces, so uh, I wasn't able to do this one whatsoever. But I think all in all, I think these are good torque wrenches. I think the important thing to do is to conduct this test when you first get them and see how they do. And then maybe you know set an alarm in your phone or whatever to check once a year or whatever. Um, but uh, like I said, the whole purpose of me doing this uh, was because I've never done this before. This one failed me and then I decided to check all the rest. But I'm gonna go ahead and give them a decent grade. I mean, the value for the money you just can't beat them. You can get, you can get pretty much all five of the ones that I have uh, for the price of just one of the really, really nice snap-ons. And I think it's safe to say that the vast majority of us can't afford the snap-ons unless we're working for a shop. So for the DIYer, I think these are good wrenches. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and include links to them in the description uh, so that you can get them on Amazon if you're interested in getting them. If you have any comments or any questions or whatever, please leave those below the video in the comments. Um, hope 
this was of value to you. If so, please like, comment, subscribe. And of course, if you hit that little bell, it'll give you notifications on future videos. And I will be having many, many, many future videos. So anyhow, I'm Steve. This is, this is me wrapping this video up. And I'll see you in the next video.